All right, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys a pretty simple way to take a sketch or something that you may have scanned in. And for those of you that don't have a tablet to use to draw images directly into Flash, I'll show you a quick, pretty easy way to just draw with the mouse. Basically, you just draw with lines and then bend each line to what you need it to be. And it winds up looking a little weird at first, but once you get it done, it'll look nice. So what I'm going to do is going to go to File, Import. Import to stage. I got a little devil guy that I drew. What I want to do is get the arrow tool, right click him, go to convert to symbol, turn him into a graphic symbol, hit OK. Double click to jump into the graphic symbol that you just created. Right click right click him one more time, go to convert to symbol again. Once again graphic symbol. What we're gonna do now is while it's selected, I'm gonna go down to the properties window and go to color and change it to alpha. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to turn the alpha down some so that way when we draw with black lines over it it's easier to see the lines that we're drawing rather than what is drawn underneath. I'm going to lock that layer. We're going to create a new layer. On that new layer I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to get the line tool which is the shortcut is the N key on your keyboard. I'm going to show you real quick. You click and drag to this point to this point what we're basically going to do is we just draw straight lines the whole way and then with the arrow tool you select it and if you see if I hover over the middle of the line tool of the line that I just drew you'll see it turn into a little arch what I could do then is click and drag this and it'll actually bend it whichever way I want to go so this makes it really easy for just drawing an image out real quick with just the line tool and I'm just going to go around the guy real quick and give him some bends and show you guys how to do this real quick. Back to the line tool. Basically I'm going to go around the head and then worry about the details inside later. Go around the mouth, I'll put the teeth in later. And if you see, if you notice, this kind of looks like, if, you're do, if you've ever done any 3D, kind of looks how when you're making 3D you get polygons and then it's kind of like using smoothing in any 3D program to smooth out the polygons that you've created. Okay now that we got the basic shape in I'm just gonna get the arrow tool again and just move and bend each little section to make it look how I want it to look. This one to go in, the chin I want to pop out some lips could be a little bit rounded. Now if you also, if you click like on the end here, you could drag the whole thing over and then put it back if you need it. You'll see the little corner icon next to the cursor. So let's get in on the details of the eyes. And the ear I'm actually going to do on a separate layer because that's overlapping some of the head and I want to be able to still bend it without the lines intersecting later. Now if you got little bits like this, if you zoom in, see how that overlaps. If you get the arrow tool and just click that and then you can delete it out of the way just to clean it up some. Get some more bending in here. Actually, let me redo that. Let me show you an easier way. Just go straight across, get the line tool, and go, and just bend it up there. You could also do the ends right there. Give them some eyebrows. Need to bend these. 
these eyes on. So I'm going to go on to a new layer, lock the original, and then I'm going to start on the ear. Anything with like a wave, if you notice how this goes up and around like that, you probably want to do two. You do like one for this arch and then one for the second arch. That way you have two control points. If I bend this, I could bend this one that way, and then this one that way, and then it winds up looking like a smooth transition there. Same here, one there, one to there. And if I bend this like that, and then bend this in a little bit. So what I want to do after I have all that, the ear and all the different layers done, is I will actually unlock this layer, select both the layers, right click, go to cut, and then we'll hit right click, or actually we'll go to edit, paste in place, and then that way they're on one layer, and then I can delete the little bit of head behind there that I don't want showing. Do a quick, quick beard. Not really too concerned about how this is going to turn out because I'm not going to use it for anything, but just to show you guys. Alright, so I got a little devil head. On the next step, I'm going to show you guys how to color this bad boy in. See you then.